Alex Knoll was a lifelong football player up until his freshman year of high school. I was a lineman, uh, so I didn't really get to touch the ball. So learning I could play a sport where I could actually run the ball, that's what really got me into it. Alex is now a grad student at Davenport, having played the last five years with the Panthers. Guys do not want to tackle him. When, you know, when there's somebody running at him, he tackles hard. You get guys generally don't try to run at, at him. As the number nine ranked Panthers prep for their first playoff game, Alex found out he's a nominee for the Shoals Award, given to the best college rugby player in the country. Coach Derek Pearson, who's our former coach, who actually now leads the Kansas City Blues, he uh, sent me the link, and I'm like, oh, I had no idea. And so I'm like, I, it just kind of took me by like shock and so I was just you know I wasn't really expecting it and like I appreciate it and it's nice and it's like rewarding but I mean like I couldn't have done it without everybody else. He's one of 15 nominees and a group of finalists will be announced later in April before the winner is announced in May. He's always been a team guy and um, you know on the back end of things and he's always been on the field he's always been a dog on the field so um, yeah absolutely proud I mean I mean, who wouldn't be proud? It's a, it's a league. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, a league-wide honor. It's not just uh, something you get from being on the team. It's something that it's being recognized nationally. DU beat number three ranked Life College for the first time in program history this season. That's boosted their confidence. Now leading into the playoffs, where next week they'll travel to take on number seven Army at West Point. My senior year last year ended in like not the best of terms and it's not the best way. So I'm really blessed and thankful to be back and be with my second family and just have a good time. In Grand Rapids, Remy Monahan, Fox 17 News.